So uh, just to let you know a little bit about myself, I've been teaching yoga for about 15 years. I teach to all levels. Um, I teach many different forms. For me, yoga in and of itself is mostly a practice of self-awareness, of getting connected to the mind, the body, um, to create peace, to create centering. So that's kind of my approach in the practice. And of course, it can have its very relaxing benefits to it um, and it's very stimulating benefits to it right it really depends on where you want to take it we're gonna lean on the end of relaxation and mindfulness okay so to start off let's all begin in a chair it's in the right way but um for the time being just establishing the foundations of the practice of yoga. So yoga in and of itself, the, the word itself in Sanskrit means to unify or to yoke. And the practice of yoga is intended to bring together the awareness of the body and of the mind and the energy through the breath. And when you can harness that together in a space of balance, you get a deeper sense of awareness and peace mostly of yourself, which opens you up to have an experience of source and the connection between all things. It is not a religion, right? There's Hinduism, which is different from yoga. Yoga is a very science-based uh, practice, but people do sometimes incorporate the Hindu religion philosophy into yoga. But I want you to keep in mind that is a very different practice right so that there's no religious aspect to it um but as with all things if you're healthy if you're centered it opens you up to have your spiritual experience in that whatever that is so that's open to every belief system but we are approaching it on a very uh, foundational level so um we work from a nice straight spine so whether you're sitting on the floor or sitting in a chair Try to uh, uplift your spine as much as you can and keep your feet flat on the floor. So if you are in a chair where you can't keep your feet flat on the floor, maybe you can put blocks or books underneath your feet. If you're in a chair that's a little bit more slopey, um, maybe place a cushion underneath because it's important to try to keep the spine upright. And we do that because that's, that's our main communication within the physical body. And we can work on keeping that abdominal structure um, integrated into the support of the spine. And it helps us to create space to breathe nice and deep into the body. So that's the next place that we're gonna go into. Um, we know yoga has been around for a very, very long time. But now we hear all these words, of, of the, the, the buzzword <coughs> mindfulness, right? Telling of the busyness of our daily lives, right? Our more modern lives, um, where we have to kind of remind ourselves of the importance of mindfulness. Where in the past, it was probably easier to slow down, to connect to ourselves, to be present in the moment, to be aware of the physical sensations of our bodies, to be aware of our thoughts, to be aware of our emotional state. But we're in a much more hurried, kind of frenzied lifestyle within our more modern world. So we have to think of things like mindfulness to remind us of our more natural state of being. So we're gonna practice a little bit of that right now. Keeping the spine upright, close your eyes and you can place your hands on, on your legs, either palms up or down or on your lap, whatever feels comfortable, but make sure it's in a position where the shoulders can relax down and the hands can hang comfortably. Begin to be aware of your body in space. And start first with the sensation of your feet on the floor or whatever um, place that they're landed on and just Feel that sensation of connecting to that sense of grounding through the bottoms of your feet. And then follow it, follow that all the way up into your hips. And feel your hips on your chair. 
And again, we're doing this to heighten our space of awareness in the present moment. You're not doing it to change anything. It's bringing you into the anchor of connecting to yourself right now. Notice whatever sensations you might have in your belly. And see if you can relax the belly a little bit more. And then follow the line of the spine all the way up your back. Notice how you're holding your shoulders. Maybe you can let them go a little bit more. Relax your jaw, relax your cheeks, relax your eyes, relax your forehead. And again, just feel your body in space. Doing your best to try to stay in a space of stillness. Even if the body wants to fidget, try to stay calm, stay still. And then become aware of the sounds around you. Maybe the room has an ambient sound you can connect to. Maybe there's a fan running. Maybe you have an open window and you can hear noise outside. But you're not fixating on any particular sound. You're just becoming more aware, more present. And then become a little bit more aware of the thoughts that you're having in this moment. And we try to do that in a space of observance. So you're not really entertaining your thoughts, but you're just witnessing them, like they're just floating through your mind. And then take note of your emotional state in this moment. Allowing and accepting whatever you're feeling in the here and now. keeping all of those points as anchors to the present moment. Now try to draw all of your awareness to your natural breath. Feeling the sensation of your natural breath as it moves in and out of your nose. And begin to witness the pathway of the breath. Starting from the tip of your nose, moving into your mouth, down your throat into your lungs, and then as you create a natural exhale, visualize it moving from the lungs, up the throat, out of the mouth, out of the nose. And we're not controlling the breath yet, just let it stay natural, so that means the inhale and exhale are probably different. But just try to notice, try to follow the breath, keep your focus there. You're training the mind for stillness. Beautiful. Now, Take your hands onto your lower belly. Feel the sensation of your hands on your belly, the warmth from your hands. Try to relax that area even more. And we're gonna work on belly breathing. So as you inhale through your nose, try to feel your belly expand outward, creating more space for a longer, deeper breath. And then as you exhale, feel your belly gently draw inward as the breath leaves the body. Inhale, feeling your belly expand. Exhale, feel it gently draw back in. Now it's okay if you're not quite 
connecting to the sensation of the breath being that deep in the body. But keep trying to visualize it there. As you inhale, feel the belly expand like a balloon. And as you exhale, feel it gently draw in, inward like a balloon deflating. And continue like that for a few rounds. Now, when we take deep breaths into the body, we connect to the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the relaxation response in the body. So that's why this kind of deep breathing is very beneficial. It's our automatic chill pill. It's already inside of us, but we just have to relearn how to breathe properly. Slow, deep, steady breath. Maybe even slow it down even more. Trying to keep the mind calm, the body still, and focus purely on the breath. You might begin to notice that even just after a few rounds, you start to feel a greater sense of calm and presence. And it's okay if that's not your experience right now. Maybe you are feeling a little bit of agitation because you're forcing the bodies to stay still. That's okay too. You're developing a discipline. You're training the mind, you're training the breath, the nervous system. And the more you practice this, the more automatic it becomes. Gently come back to your natural breath and begin to blink open your eyes. It's okay if it's hard initially to feel it in that part of the body. Sometimes it helps to lay down on your back and place your hands onto your belly, but it's important to keep in mind that you're not pressing the belly out through the muscles. It's through inviting in breath, which makes it expand and then contract. It's not just forcing and pushing it out. You can do that by holding my breath, right? Slightly different sensation there. Okay. So now when we're moving through the practice, for example, when we're doing a twist, it might be hard or you might not want to do belly breathing because that means you're letting go of the muscular support you need for the spine. So we start to breathe more through the upper chest. So we're gonna work on breathing more so through the upper part of the torso. You can place your hands back to your belly to make sure you're not expanding here. And it's not, it's not a shallow breath in the shoulders, right? A lot of times we just go throughout our day taking little shallow breaths, right? We have this huge capacity for breath, but we have to learn to train the body to feel it. So you can either keep your hand onto your belly to make sure you're not doing the belly breathing. You can even place your hands to the ribs to feel that sense of expansion. But think of the rib cage expanding out. Okay, so we're going to try to isolate it there. You don't have to hold your hands there, but you might want to. So as you inhale, the rib cage expands. Exhale comes back in. Okay, so play with that. Maybe close your eyes so you can really feel it. It's up to you whatever you need to do in order to feel that shift. Instead of the belly breathing, now we're moving more through expanding the upper chest. And again, these are practices that take some time to really start to feel, so be patient with yourself. But continue, slow, deep breaths. Inhale, expanding up and out, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Exhale, back in. Inhale, up and out.
exhale, draw it in. Inhale, up and out. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Coming back to your natural breath. Okay, one thing to keep in mind. We do everything equally on both sides. That does not mean both sides of our body are equal, right? Right-handed, that means the right side of your body is going to be stronger. Left-handed, left-handed the side of the body is going to be stronger. Maybe for some reason, maybe you sleep more on that side and you're used to breathing more. I mean, there could be a practice that you do that you favor one side. Awareness is part of it. Next thing is, and that's it, that's that's an interesting. How would you isolate one lung? I, <laughs> I would say just start bringing your awareness more to the other one and see if you can start to feel and train a shift. But what, one common saying in yoga is yoga helps you to become aware of the things that you can change and accept the things that you can't. Right? So, but that the fact that you were aware of that is incredible, right? That means you have that strong mind-body connection, which is really what yoga teaches us about. I don't know if I answered your question, but yeah, try to put your mind there to the one where you feel like you're not using as much and, and maybe just sending the signal to your body. Okay, let's breathe a little bit more through this side and see if it starts to shift. Yeah, okay. Anyone else, anyone wanna share their experience? Do you already feel a little bit more relaxed or maybe you're agitated, right? Sometimes when we're doing these kinds of mindfulness practices and you have someone that has a little bit more you know, type A person, a little bit heightened energy. It's like, I don't want to sit still. I don't want to breathe slow, right? That's legit too. You know, just honoring that experience. Let's start to put those two breaths together. And again, be patient with yourself. Um, practice it throughout the week. But every time we meet, we're going to be doing this type of work. So it's okay if you're not like, this is a lifelong pursuit and you just keep showing up for yourself and that's it. And accept whatever you can do within each given day. So I like to visualize it like you're filling a glass with water, right? So you're filling the body with breath from the bottom of the spine up. And then as you exhale, try to imagine it emptying out from the top down and see if you can connect to that wave. So inhaling, expanding the belly, expanding the chest. Exhale, softening down through the chest, softening down through the belly. Okay? Do it at your own pace. It's okay if it doesn't connect for you right now. But again, just spending the time inward and turning on that awareness is, is the most important thing right now. Okay, so straight spine, eyes closed, and begin. Inhaling, filling the torso from the tailbone all the way up to the space beneath the shoulders. And exhaling, softening down as you empty the breath out from the shoulders down to the tailbone. So continue just like that, the breath in and out of the nose. Go at your own pace. Even if it's just visualizing the filling and emptying out.
couple more rounds at your own pace. Right now, keeping your eyes closed, just come back to your natural breath. And notice, notice the sensations that you're experiencing right now. Not from a space of judgment, not trying to change or alter anything, just observing like you are your own scientist. then in this space of mindfulness, maybe you'd like to create an intention to continue this self-observance and the sense of presence throughout the rest of your day. And inner connectivity. Okay, now place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on top of your left, and feel the warmth of your palms on your heart. From that heart center, take a deep inhale through your nose, and create a cleansing release as you exhale out of your mouth. And then release your hands down and gently blink open your eyes. I'm gonna give you a homework assignment. You can do it if you want, you don't have to. <laughs> but try to practice this breathing in a space of quiet, even if it's just five minutes a day. Um, I think doing these types of things as soon as we wake up in the morning are very beneficial when the mind is still calm and you're not in the busyness of the day, but that doesn't work for everybody. So wherever you can kind of grab a moment of calm, you know, maybe connect to, you can try doing it when you're laying on your back in that space. So this is really exciting. Thank you all for joining.